Friends, greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements in my practice where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, a regenerating system designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is simply the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We want to change your life today. We want to help you change the lives of your friends, loved ones, workmates. Anyone you know on a prescription drug or interacting with the medical model or anyone you know that seems to be getting sicker by the day, no matter how much doctoring or drugs they're on, we want to help you change your life and help you change their life as well. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Try to call in early so we can get to all our calls. hate leaving people on hold, which we invariably do. So 844-236-6010 is our number. Please call in early. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, and if you have a success story, we love hearing success stories. Or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions or comments or success stories about our truth treatment products, love to hear from you as well. Our truth balm, truth serum, truth omega-6 healing cream, and truth retinol gel, 5% retinol gel. Sold hundreds of them in the last uh, eight months. So I know you're out there, and I know I get the letters, so love to hear success story on the air. 844-236-6010 is our number. And if you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program or recommended on the program, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or check out my blog, criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, or you can also go to brightsideben.com, order products right off the website, and sign up to join the Brightside Ben team and help me in my mission to educate the planet about how important a good nutritional supplement program can be, how life-changing a good nutritional supplement program can be. All right, so we have been talking about the systemic nature of all disease, how disease occurs in the system of the body. How it's all connected, everything in the body. If you have a chronic degenerative disease, a CDD, as they call them, a disease that worsens, a disease that doesn't heal, a disease that doesn't get better. If your doctor has told you you're going to be on this drug the rest of your life, you've got a chronic degenerative health crisis. And that, because of the way the body is, is constructed, because of the way the body is configured, how everything is connected to everything else, by, making, by taking a few simple steps, you can affect the entire body. This is the beauty of this, the, the nature of the body as a system. The problem with the nature of the body as a system is you don't just have one problem. If you have Alzheimer's, you've got blood sugar problems, you've got digestive problems, you've got inflammatory problems. On the other hand, because it's all connected by simply taking a couple of steps, you can completely eliminate your chronic degenerative disease by simply controlling your blood sugar. You can completely eliminate numerous, numerous, what they call in the medical world sequelae. That's things that follow one issue. So your blood glucose, your blood sugar gets messed up, you end up with dementia, and you end up with blood pressure issues, and you end up with obesity issues, and you end up with kidney disease, all from the one problem. These subsequent conditions that follow the one problem are called sequelae. That's the fancy name. What it means is conditions that follow one underlying issue. 
The only thing a doctor can do is risk manage. They, the doctors are, and hospitals and, and the healthcare system is about managing disease. It's about risk management. They're never going to reverse it. They will never reverse a chronic degenerative disease with the surgeries and drugs and the strategies of the medical model. Cancer, Alzheimer's, diabetes, heart disease, the leading causes of death. These are chronic, long-term degenerative diseases that the healthcare system, the health model that we spend so much money on, trillions of dollars on, can do nothing about. Doctors will say, oh, you're going to be on this drug the rest of your life. They'll say it's idiopathic. Your, your health issue is idiopathic. That means we have no idea what causes it. Or they'll say it's a normal part of aging. Your fatty liver disease and your messed up blood sugar, this is just part of aging. Your cancer, that's just part of aging. They'll say we can never prevent or eliminate diabetes, never prevent or eliminate Alzheimer's, never prevent or eliminate psoriasis. They say this all the time. What kind of system is this? Well, it, first of all, we have to understand that they say this because they can't prevent or eliminate or reverse disease with their tools, with their strategies, with their protocols. There's no medical protocols for diabetes to, to reverse diabetes. There's no medical tools to reverse Alzheimer's or acne. Are we, why are we satisfied with this? And why are there no medical tools? Because these aren't doctor issues. Acne's not a doctor issue. There's nothing a dermatologist can do for acne except take care of the zits once they're there. There's nothing a doctor can do for heart disease or diabetes. These are not medical concerns. That's why. Medicine steals these concerns for profit margin. It steals these concerns from our life, from our lifestyle. It steals these concerns from our decisions. It steals these concerns from our control and turns them into a profit center. And then we're hypnotized, entranced through all kinds of marketing techniques, some of the sneakiest brain manipulation techniques you can think of through commercials and rep repetition and hypnosis. We're hypnotized to comply, to always do what our doctor tells us to do. I'm telling you guys, I've been working with doctors and I don't mean to rip on any individual doctors. It's the model. The stupid things I hear from the, the mouths of the representative of the medical models are mind-blowing. And we still comply. And we still uh, obey our orders. My doctor told me. This is why drug costs and medical costs and hospital costs and health care costs never go down. Because we're hypnotized. We'll pay whatever. It's like Donald Trump saying, you know, my people are so loyal, I could shoot... I could shoot somebody on Fifth Avenue, they'll still vote for me. The doctor says, could say the same thing. The healthcare, uh, the medical model can say the same thing. My people are so loyal, our patients are so loyal, they'll buy any drug we tell them no matter what happens. Oh yeah, I feel like crap, but my doctor told me I have to take this. I get questions all the time about statin drugs and about thyroid drugs. I don't feel better, I feel like crap, do I have to st still keep taking this? Well, I can't answer that question. You know, you got to make that decision yourself. I sure wouldn't take it. I could tell you that. Did you ever hear of a hospital or a drug company going out of business or having a sale or lowering their prices? Can you imagine a, a drug manufacturer saying, we have decided to discontinue all of our diabetes drugs because the pharmacomedical strategies of drugging people to lower their blood sugar has cured the disease. We have now eliminated diabetes because our genius doctors and brilliant drug research scientists have, have cured the problem. They came up with a pill and no more diabetes. Of course you're not going to say that because reversing and preventing diseases is not the goal of medicine. Maintaining, I, that alone is all you need to see to be so ticked off that you want to hurt somebody, don't hurt somebody. But it ticks you off. Why would you maintain a disease? That's what they do. They maintain it. They manage it. You know why? Because it's a gravy train. And our hard-earned dollars, not to mention our illness and our misery, that's the gravy. From the Wall Street Journal, Wall, uh, rising drug costs to be in focus at a congressional hearing. Good luck with that. They're doing a congressional hearing to find out about why drug costs are so high. I'll tell you why they're high. Because you've got predators everywhere. Wall Street Journal. Unbelievable. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're coming back on the Bright Side right after this. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. All right.
right, we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page. Pages at brightsideben.com, also benfuchsarchives.com. You can search the archive pages as well. Thank you to Peter in the U.K. for setting up benfuchsarchives.com. You can also check out my blog, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com, or go to truthtreatments.com and check out my skin health blog and also my Facebook page, The Truth with Ben. Uh, we blog, I blog uh, skincare, skincare topics on both of those sites, The Truth with Ben and truthtreatments.com. You can purchase truth treatments, truth treatment products off truthtreatments.com as well. And if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can go to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com, or call the team, the phone team, at 866-735-2470. Our number here today on the Bright Side, 844-236-6010. We'll get you your number. We'll get your calls at the bottom of the hour, 844-236-6010. So at the Wall Street Journal, according to the Wall Street Journal, there's going to be a congressional hearing on rising drug costs. So that's going to do a lot of good. What do you think what do you think is going to happen there? You know, the funny thing is about all of these complaints about drug costs is they never ask the ultimate, most important question is why the heck do we need the drugs in the first place? They just assume. That's a sneaky little trick. You just assume and then you move forward. It's like the presidential election. We just assume we need a federal government and then we decide who's going to lead it. We just assume that we need prescription drugs and then we decide... Uh, whether they are overpriced or, or whether we're being gouged. Of course, we're being gouged. Rising costs to be in focus at congressional hearing. Guess what? Lobbyists spent $180 million, over $179 million, almost $180 million last year in lobbying, in bribing. That's basically what lobbying is. It's a it's a, a more genteel way of bribing somebody. You take them to dinner, or you buy them whatever you buy them. What do, I don't even know. What, are the, what, is, what do these dollars go for when they talk about $170 million in lobbying? Where, what does that mean? Where does that money go? Dinner? Drinks? Trips? Uh, what, is, what do you do with $179 million? And that's just last year. That's, that's got to be a billion dollars over the last four or five years. This is what Obama cares about. It's not about us. It's about screwing the public. It's about screwing us. Oh, where does the $179 million come from that they use to screw us? It comes from us, <laughs> from the public, from price costs, from, from drug costs. We're paying drug companies and crooked politicians, self-serving crooked politicians, to screw us. How obnoxious in your face can you get? But you know what, guys? It doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, we're talking lifestyle issues, choice issues for the most part. When we talk about chronic degenerative disease, we're talking about just making a few choices, a few moves, because the body's all, all the components of the body are interconnected. So just by making a few moves, a few different choices, we can change everything. Food decisions, supplement decisions, sleep decisions, mental and emotional decisions, choices, how we operate our minds, how we operate our feelings, our spiritual connection, our connection to the divine force, whatever you want to call it, our, our uh, choices we make about rest, choices we make about the foods we eat, choices we make about supplements we take, these are all things we can do ourselves and because of the interconnected nature of the body every single health marker will improve when we make better choices this interconnection of the body that the components can be leveraged it can be taken advantage of we can leverage the networking the networking nature networked nature of the body for our own benefit a few strategic moves, and we can create dramatic changes. Understanding this interconnection, learning to leverage strategic moves, taking strategic actions. You know, it's not just, it, it's not just fun and games. It's a matter of life or death. Our choices are killing us. Our choices, are making, our choices can make us better, or our choices can kill us. We don't need doctors. And I'm guilty of ripping on doctors, ripping on the medical model. But you know what? We don't need them. We don't need them. Aside from being stitched up or maybe giving us a little advice, counseling us, 